three reasons you do not want to buy the Insta360 gimbaled webcam. I bought it. I regret it. Let me explain why. Three reasons. Number one, let's start with the big feature. It's an AI face tracking, hand tracking software that allows you to do all this magical things. Let's try how those features work here. So let's start the face tracking feature here and let's put it at fast speed to track my face. Could you imagine being on a Zoom call or watching a live stream where you have this amount of speed happening? I'm getting a headache just watching myself. Let's try normal here. Still, that's so glitchy. That's so um, jumpy. This is the most updated software available as of April 2024. Here's slow. Still, could you imagine watching somebody on a Zoom call do this all day long? You're just going to get a headache doing this. Now, let's turn off tracking for a minute. Now here's me moving around. Isn't this so much more pleasant to watch? So less overstimulating, right? Okay, so the face tracking is a no-go because of how jumpy and glitchy it is here. Let's just try that once more. This is as smooth as it gets, folks. Like you're going to get it. give people a headache watching that. Okay, the next big feature here that's supposed to give you is this AI zoom. So let's zoom in on my head. Great. Here's my head. Here's, here's, which is fine, right? My head's not in the center of the frame. There's kind of a lot of extra space above my head. The camera is at eye level with me right now. And it's kind of zooming in and zooming out, which is just a little annoying. Why? Here's my half body. Do you notice the difference? Huh? No. No. Here's the full body shot. Half body. Full body, half body. I have followed every instruction. I have updated the software on my computer, the firmware and the thing. There's plenty of me in view of the camera right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with that. The last item here is the hand tracking. Let's say you're on a live stream, you're on a Zoom call and you wanna turn off this really jumpy tracking, right? You have to hold your pamp. Good, hello, turn off. So you're in the middle of a Zoom call. Marsha, it's so great to see you. Thank you for joining our Zoom call today. I'm glad we could make this happen. Yeah, how are the kids? What do you mean, what am I doing with my hand? Nothing. I'm not doing anything with my hand. I'm just awkward. Awkward as hell. You can't do that on live camera and it doesn't recognize my hand. Let's try Zooming. Yeah, the quarterly earnings report really came in super well this year. We were able to increase our sales by 15. Per what do you mean? What am I doing with my hands? I'm zooming in. No, you're not. And then there's the whiteboard mode. And I have a whiteboard behind me, so I can't demonstrate it, but it's glitchy. It's glitchy. Okay, so that's reason number one. You don't want to buy this thing. All of the cool AI-powered face tracking auto zoom features are just garbage. They, they, they're unusable in some sense, or at least they're not worth a luxury camera level. Number two, that the reason that you might buy this is all of the software features. So you can turn up the auto exposure or the white balance. You can change the brightness or the contrast or the saturation, the sharpness, blah, 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 blah. Turns out you can get software to do this for free. For zero dollars you have to spend to get software to do this. A lot of computers do it natively. If you're on a Windows or a Mac, if you need to download a software, OBS, free software you can download. It, you can get all of these features for free on any webcam out there because they're all software features. You don't have to pay for this feature. So number two, you can adjust everything. Yeah, no duh. You can also do that for free. Number three, number three, that's how you count, is the gimbal control. Now, this is truly a unique feature uh, of this camera over almost all other web cameras. You can move the camera around while you're streaming, which is great. Now, normally you could just like reach up and adjust the camera a little bit, but you can move this around. But let's talk about practically how you're going to be doing this. Note, you can also put this on your phone on an app, but then you're like, yeah, that was a great time while well, I'm monkeying around on my app trying to do this. It, you just can't practically use the gimbal and a live stream or a live Zoom call at the same time because you can't do both of all of this at the same time. You, the only time this thing would be, the gimbal would be helpful is if you had a third, a second person over there who was operating the camera for you, then it would be helpful. 
Or if you were not the subject of the video and you were recording something like an owl or something out in the live stream and you want to move this around, then this would be cool and helpful. But if you are the subject of the, the feature, then the gimbal is not helpful. So let's, let's recap. Why do I regret buying this camera? Uh, the reason I regret buying this camera here is that I bought it for all of the really cool AI features. The gesture um, settings are just hardly usable even if they did function, but they don't recognize your hand most of the time when you do it. The tracking here, it causes motion sickness causes motion sickness. The AI zoom is minuscule at best and non-functional at worst. Uh, all of the settings that are, you're able to change here, you can change it on any other webcam. And the gimbal is great only if you're not the one using it because you can't both gimbal control and zoom call backslash live stream at the same time. So not a recommendation I'm making for this camera. I would recommend going and getting some other camera which still has really high quality visuals for a half or less of the price which this is and then use free software like OBS to do this for yourself and the only thing that you're giving up is these glitchy uh, movements here which I turned off on my camera as well as the, the, the AI zooming which doesn't do any Thing. There's way better ways to do this. The only time I see this being helpful is if you or a second person is controlling the gimbal and you're not the focus of, of the, the video. That, that's the only time I can see this being helpful. But other than that, this is just a really expensive web camera with features that would be great if they worked, but do not work even after a long time being on the market.